Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I will be making clear slime. I hope you enjoy and make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video and so you can win giveaways that I might have. So let's get started. So we're gonna be making some clear slime and the things you'll be needing are Elmer's clear glue. You can use a bottle, but I have a gallon, so I'll use part of that. You'll need some food coloring. Well, food coloring is optional, but I'm going to use some. And I picked purple. You can pick any color you want if you're adding food coloring. I also picked some purple, like, glitter that I wanted to add in, which is also optional. A spoon. A bowl some contact solution and on the back of the bottle it has to say so sodium wait mm. well go look up my recipe and you'll see what it needs in the contact solution baking soda and a container or baggy like a plastic bag to store your slime in and I have stickers on mine and I'm gonna name it Princess Purple but yeah so let's get started first step is to pour some clear glue or squirt some clear glue into your bowl I think that's a good amount since I don't know what's gonna fit in my container when I need to store it. So, yeah. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some glitter. And I'm gonna add some baking soda. I'm gonna add about half a spoonful of this spoon. That's a little. I had a little more, but there. And now I'm gonna start mixing. I might add more glitter after I mix this in, but I might not. I don't know yet. I think I'll just add a little more and then I'll add food color. There. And that's it. <laughs> I want to make sure I have enough glitter because if I don't like it in the end, I can't really change it. Because the glitter doesn't normally stick to it after you activate it. So the next thing I'm going to add is my food coloring. I'm just gonna add three, actually I'll add two drops for now because this is kind of a dark purple and I don't want it to become like really dark. I'm gonna add one more drop or I'm gonna keep it. Um, I think I'm going to keep the color I have. It's a really pretty color. I don't know if you can see the glitter, but I really like it. And the next thing we're going to add to it is our, like, activator activator. And this, it... Like, you don't have to add the baking soda, but it helps um, the contact solution activate your slime. And if you're wearing long sleeves, <clears throat> I would roll them up like what I did when you, like, do this. So, I'm just going to add a little squirt like that. And I'm going to mix. But I'll tell you when... You can go in with your hands because some people do it like right after they add one small squirt 
And like, it's so weird. But if you still need more, just add more. Like what I need to do. I always need to add more than three squirts because I don't add super big squirts. Because if I added um, too big of squirts, your slime could get too hard too quick. So that's why. I'm on to my third squirt. And I'm just going to keep on adding the contact solution until it's ready. I'll add a little bit of a bigger squirt this time because I know it's not going to be ready after this either. So if yours is already doing this, if it's coming off the sides of the bowl, you may go in with your hands, but mine isn't quite ready yet. But it's starting to get there. Like, you see how it's starting to form into slime a little bit better. That's what you're going to be looking for. <clears throat> but, yeah. And you can, like, stick your spoon to the side of the bowl really quick and take it off to see if it's coming off the sides of the bowl. And that's what's happening with mine. Like, see? Coming off pretty well. So I'm going to go in with one of my hands because I always need a hand to add more activator. Just saying. So I'm just going to If you don't like work out every day and you make slime pretty often, like every other day, this is like working out. <laughs> this is how I get stronger, like literally. This is how I get stronger. Like this is how. I'm not joking, guys. I make slime like three times or maybe two times a week. Because I have so much slime. But yeah. I really do do that. It's so weird. I'm just going to keep on kneading and stretching the almost to be perfect slime. And also... If yours gets bubbly like what mine is doing, um, you can leave it in an airtight container or bag like for a couple of days, like two or three days, and it will clear up. But then if you play with it again, like a lot, you might need to let it sit again. I'm gonna take it out of the bowl. It's starting to dip to get closer. And that is probably the part, the most likely part that you have to be patient with. So if you're not impatient, you might want someone watching you just in case you're adding like huge squirts and you're gonna get your slime really tough but yeah i think i'm about done so i'll cap that and put it over there and yeah You just sometimes have to get it off of your hands. Which is what I'm trying to do. Or trying to do. 
But the thing is, once you're done making the sign, it's like great to play with. It lasts for a long time. And yeah. And go check out my other videos if you haven't already. I made three other videos. This is episode four, basically, because I'm new here to YouTube. But, yeah. Like, and also normally clear slimes, you can see through just as you make it like this. And yeah, they're also really pokey. Like that. And when you're done playing with it, all you have to do is put it in your container. I'm just adding a little at a time for mine because it might need to be smushed into my container. I picked kind of a small container. And yeah, I hope you like my video. Bye.